Imagine going for big alpine rides with lots of vertical, or tripling the number of laps you can do at the local bike park. And imagine these rides ending with a big smile and no whining or tears. Being able to go for adult-sized rides without the pain and discomfort that can accompany those rides will entice your little ones to continue wanting to mountain bike with mom and dad. Really, an e-bike is a gift for the parent who no longer has to tow their child, listen to whining along the trail, and hear about how they wish the ride was just over. If you live near trails that allow e-bikes, like to adventure deep into forests, or just want an urban pedal mate, then the Woom Up can certainly fit the bill. The Woom Up is a mountain bike. Still, we've been using the Up as a city bike as well as a trail bike, and we know there are other families that will be interested in it for this purpose as well. We have two electric cargo bikes, the Rad Wagon and a Bunch Bike, that we use for daily commuting and we rarely drive anymore. While we can throw the kiddo in the back of one of these bikes, it's nice for him to be able to ride his own bike occasionally as well. We happen to live at the top of a steep hill and it's tough to bike up it. For other families that are car free or car light, live in a hilly city, or have other reasons to put your kid on an e-bike for city riding, Woom Up is an attractive option. Unfortunately, for city riding it is a bit much. You don't need a suspension fork or high-end components for biking to school. It'd be nice to see a pared down electric bike option for families that need an e-bike for city riding. There may also be legal impairments to your child riding in an urban environment without a driver's license. The Woom Up has a thoughtful, modern mountain bike geometry with slack angles, wide handlebars, and a long wheelbase. The frame also has a low standover height, which makes it easy for kids to maneuver on the trail. The Woom Up is a hardtail mountain bike similar to the Woom Off Air. In fact, many of the components on the two bikes are identical. The major difference, of course, is the Fazua electric pedal assist motor. The Fazua Avation drive system is comprised of five main components, the drive pack, bottom bracket, remote, battery, and charger. The drive pack is the actual motor unit which is housed within the bottom of a down tube sleeve that also houses the battery. The bottom bracket contains a keyed tri-shaped interface that connects to the battery dry or drive pack and also contains a speed sensor that functions in conjunction with a spoke magnet. This design makes it a mid-drive e-bike system. The remote has a very sleek design, it's housed in the front end of the top tube and easily accessed. The remote contains a power button, power input touchpad, and user interface lights to indicate what mode the bike is in and how much battery the bike has remaining. The bike is easy to use and my 8 year old figured it out in his own in seconds. We did have to access the manual to figure out what colors of lights indicated what power settings. White is 0 motor input, green is 100 watts of input, blue is 210 watts of input, and pink is the full 250 watts of input. Now, unlike adult mid-drive e-mountain bikes, this bike has a max speed of 12.5 miles per hour. It's only a 250 watt motor and is not as powerful as adult e-bikes. That doesn't mean that your kiddo can't fly up the hill though. It is a class 1 e-bike that requires pedal assist to generate motor input. There's no throttle, or the throttle is the pedaling. The motor and battery can be plugged into a computer connected to the Fazua app, and a range slash battery adjustment can be made from there. We have yet to limit anything as the factory settings seem to work fine. In fact, my trying to keep up on my hardtail has been some of the most challenging riding I've ever encountered. As far as range goes, we have yet to max out the battery. We've done several rides in 2-3 to three hour range, and our little guy hasn't drained more than 20% of the battery on a ride. When the battery is ready to be charged, charging is easily done by removing the down tube unit and plugging it in. When the charger lights say it's done, then the unit's reinserted in the bike's down tube and off you go! There's also an empty down tube sleeve one can purchase to ride the e-bike as a womb off. This is an attractive option if you have nearby trails that don't allow e-bikes and you don't want to buy more than one bike. Our overall impression of the Fazua drive system has been positive. The system is quiet, you have to be very close to notice as an e-bike, has great range and thus far has sustained plenty of abuse. While Fazua doesn't have much of a presence in the US as it does in Europe, Woom has assured us they'll be handling customer service issues for the system so you don't have to worry about support. Like the Woom Off Air, one of the primary components that sets this bike apart from others is the quality RST fork. Black stanchions and silver lowers give this fork a great look that matches the rest of the bike. This is an air sprung suspension fork with 80mm of travel on the 24 inch version of the UP and 98mm on the 26 inch version. Adjustments include a compression knob that allows a full open setting through a few clicks to a locked out position. The other adjustment is a rebound knob that allows a few clicks to set rebound to a comfortable setting. We like the RST forks that Woom specs on their mountain bikes. They're easy to use and work well. Woom's engineers understand the increased weight of an e-bike in combination with off-road riding is an extremely harsh environment for bike parts. They knew that this bike would need through axles that are more robust and ready to resist flex in the wheels while offering a more stable ride. The front end has a 15mm quick release through axle while the rear end houses a 12mm bolt style through axle. This feature allows for rough rides and helps keep the wheels true. 
Most kids' bikes are stocked with lower-end drivetrains that have limited gear range. Not the Wumup. Sporting a SRAM NX11 speed drivetrain, this sweet whip has the same drivetrain as my Gorilla Gravity Mega Trail. A 28 tooth chainring paired with a cassette ranging from 42 teeth to 11 teeth on the small cog provides more than enough power from the pedals. The SRAM trigger shifter does a great job of providing an easy to shift gear system. Shifts are clean and concise, and the clutch derailleur does a great job of holding its position. The shifter fits great in conjunction with the optimized brake levers as well. The bike also has appropriately sized cranks, 130mm on the Wumup 5 and 150mm on the Wumup 6. The distance between cranks is also appropriately narrow although wider than the Wumoth. The brakes on the up are Promax Alv ST with a 140mm rotor in the back and a 160mm rotor in the front wheel. The hydraulic disc brakes provide a powerful stop along with easy modulation thanks to the appropriately sized levers and quality construction. Out on the trail, our son was able to easily feather the brakes and glide down some extremely steep descents. Every riding situation has been an absolute joy with this bike thanks to the quality build and thoughtful changes like the smaller brake levers. Like the Woom Off, the Woom Up has Schwalbe Rocket Ron 2.35 tires and Woom Discotech rims. We've been rocking this combo on the off air for the past year and have been really pleased with their performance. While we haven't upgraded the Woom Up to tubeless yet, we did it on the Woom Off air with great success. We plan to do that on the up as well to save a little weight and prevent flats. The bike comes in two sizes, 24 inch and 26 inch. The smaller bike fits kids as small as 4 foot 2 and the larger fits kids 4 foot 6 and up. For reference, our son is 8 years old, 4'4", four four, and wears a size 8 pant. He was comfortable on the Woom Up 5 with plenty of room yet to grow. The biggest con in my opinion is that the Woom Up is heavy. While Woom has done a good job of keeping the weight down, the bike is still significantly heavier than the Woom Off Air, for instance. On the uphills, this difference in weight is largely negligible thanks to the electric assist. But on downhills and more technical terrain, the weight is noticeable in the kid's ability to throw the bike around. A few other things worth mentioning, the Woom Up does not have a quick release seat post collar. Most stock pedals at our house end up in the donate bin, but not those in the Woom Up. These are high quality kids pedals, and they're nice and thin, offer a wide profile, and have enough pins to keep feet planted and firm on the pedals. The saddle on the Woom Up is the same as the one on the off. It's ergonomic and comfortable, but not overly padded. The Woom Up comes with a kickstand. While this might be a nice feature if you're using the Up primarily as an around town commuter, it's nothing but extra weight for those of us using the bike for serious mountain biking. Like other Woom bikes, the Up has a flip-flop stem. This allows you to raise or lower the height of the handlebars by flipping the stem and allowing the bike to grow with your child. There's so much controversy around e-bikes and even more about e-bikes for kids. If you're super anti-e-bike, I'm probably not going to change your mind, but here are my two cents on the topic regardless. Our son has been riding a bike almost daily since he was two years old. At eight, he is strong, fit, and far faster than many adults. Still, he is a kid. He doesn't like to suffer. He hasn't found the particular pleasure in climbing 5,000 feet of vertical under his own power. He likes to rip the downhills and he likes to have fun, and the Woom Up helps make that possible. For our family at least, the Woom Up isn't there to make a 2 mile ride to school easier. It's there to make a 20 mile alpine ride possible. It's there to let our family tackle the big rides without mom or dad having to tow them uphill with the towie and without tears. We're still at a point where we're trying to make biking all about fun, and the Woom Up does that. In fact, since getting it, our son has been asking to ride more than he did before. The Woom Up has transformed our family's ability to tackle big adventures, and it will transform yours as well. The bike isn't cheap, but it is a big investment in time spent together as a family doing what you love most. If you've been waiting for an electric e-mountain bike for your kiddo, the Woom Up is finally here. Yes, it might be one of the only options for a kid's e-bike, but fortunately, it's a good one. We can't recommend the Woom Up enough. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell.